dear friends i am dr k kannan professor mechanical engineering kar college of engineering this is the lecture third lecture in the subject product life cycle management second unit the topic for this lecture is workflow and process management namba yerkane rendu lecture plm product life cycle management potturken it is only to make you to understand the subject uh, because by reading how to read the uh, content adu neenga first puriyano adukapra vandu neenga purinju padichu purinjikonu adukada i give the video lectures so you listen to the video lecture and use it effectively workflow and process management are essential aspects of plm pdm product life cycle management and product develop product data management they help to ensure that the product data is managed effectively and that the product development process is efficient and compliant so the main purpose of workflow and process management is the data is managed effectively and the data product development process is efficient and compliant so efficient ungalku theriyum compliant na according to the rules so there are certain rules for uh, product development or product life cycle management so the rules should be effectively followed that is what the compliance the workflow process flow the workflow in plm pdm refers to the sequence of steps that need to be taken to complete a product development task or a process so step by step procedure so workflow is the step by step procedure need to be taken to complete the product development task or a process workflow can be used to improve the efficiency and the effectiveness of product development process by automating the task so using the computer for automating the task tracking the progress and providing visibility into the workflow these are all the benefit effect improving efficiency effectiveness and by by automating the task tracking the progress and providing visibility to the workflow there are four different types of workflow workflow management the first is product design workflow so what is the workflow workflow is sequence of steps that is to be followed so what is the workflow or the sequence of steps for product design so the workflow outline the steps involved in the design of new product from the ideation to prototyping to testing so ideation creating the idea prototyping making the first to model so based on the design making the first to model and testing so look at here ideation idea ideation is generating idea about a new product once you get the idea then you have to go for design and drawing so design and drawing after design and drawing so we have to prepare uh, the design for manufacture so there are certain uh, issues with respect to manufacturing so we have to address those conditions in the design so according to the manufacturing requirement manufacturing availability we have to modify the design that is what the design for manufacture then prototyping so based on the design making a single product that is called as prototyping that prototype is to be tested so from ideation to prototyping and testing so this is the workflow steps for each each uh, uh, each block or each activity there will be a responsible people available a responsible experienced people available so that they will work effectively for effective smooth flow of the workflow design workflow the second is product manufacturing workflow so this workflow outline the steps involved in manufacturing a new product from sourcing the material to assembly assembling the part to packaging the product so sourcing the material machine everything assembly and the packing the product so purchase of material assembly of machine we have to arrange the machine in a particular sequence what is the various manufacturing steps available steps required for the product so based on the manufacturing steps we have to assemble the machine arrange the machine and we have to purchase the required material and the components then there will be manufacturing the product so the manufacturing will go and after manufacturing the product is to be assembled properly and then there will be packaging and uh, dispatching 
so this is the workflow management or workflow path for a product manufacturing system the next one is product testing workflow so this workflow outline the steps involved in testing new product from functional testing to the reliability testing to the safety testing there are different types of testing functional testing any product is designed or manufactured for a particular function whether the function is effectively carried out that you have to test that is what the functional testing and the reliability testing so whether the product is reliable that we have to test by means of the established procedure that is what reliability testing and the safety aspect we have to uh, test the product with respect to the safety so product the functional testing reliability testing safety testing and then certification once all the testing are passed by the product then we have to certify that the product is safe to use then next fourth one is product release workflow so to release so first we have designed then we have manufactured then we have tested the next process is you have to release the product in the market so product release workflow this workflow outline the steps involved in releasing a new product to the market from marketing and sales to the customer support so simple the various process we write, we we draw in the form of a block diagram a product is coming a new product is coming it goes to the marketing and sales department then from the sales department to the sales store or uh, the different departmental stores or various uh, sales point it will go to the, the product will be carried transported to various sales point then from the sales store it goes to the so it is uh, it is sold the product are sold here and we provide the customer support so for any product there will be warranty uh, period so for during the warranty period or after even after the warranty period we have to support the uh, customer so that is what customer support system so the four different types of workflows management available for any product so you have to draw the block diagram that is very very important and write one or two sentences about the uh, methodology of the product release workflow or uh, testing workflow uh, manufacturing workflow or the design workflow then tips for creating effective workflow in plm and pdm so there are different steps so we have to read and understand start by defining the goal of the workflow what is the goal what is the objective of the workflow so what to what do you want to achieve by implementing the workflow that you have to write what is the goal of the workflow then identify the key steps involved in the workflow so what we have done earlier the steps involved they are drop they are drawn in the form of a block diagram so we have to identify the key steps involved in the workflow what are the essential tasks that need to be completed determine the order in which the steps should be taken so first goal second identifying the steps then third what is the sequence of the steps to be taken and what is the most efficient way to complete the workflow assign responsibility for each step so for each operation each step you have to fix some responsible persons so they will be carrying out who will be responsible for completing the task then document the workflow so we have to write down the document systematic way of developing the document so once you develop the document the document may be followed by anybody so create a written document that describe the workflow in detail so train the users on the workflow so there are users of the uh, the workflow methodology so you have to train them make sure that all users who will be involved in the workflow understand how it works then monitor and improve the workflow as the workflow is used monitor its performance and make the improvement as needed so these are all the seven steps for creating effective workflow in plm or pdm then what are the benefits there are seven different benefits so creating and building structured workflow bring consistency to how to how tasks are completed so it creates consistency of uh, doing the job the task can be taught to the and uh, replicated by many increasing resiliency so so the we have to teach the uh, workflow methodology to many people so that everybody will replicate it increases the visibility into how a task is completed and the people and the system used to do it so we have to it will increase the visibility of the methodology of doing the work it allows the manager to see the bottleneck and redundancies what are the critical operations critical job in the workflow that you can identify once you design detailed the 
and redundant activity also we can identify the way to automate the improve them. So, based on the bottleneck and the redundancy, we can find the methodology of automating the uh, system. Automated, optimized and streamlined workflow are save the time and the money. When you have a systematic way of automated means using computer operation. So, automated, optimized and streamlined workflow save the time and the money. It increases the employee productivity and job satisfaction by eliminating repetitive, redundant and low value activity. So, it increases the employee productivity. Productivity is number of product produced per day or per, per hour. The job satisfaction and then eliminating repetitive and redundant low value activity. It enables the manager uh, to better identify the specific skills required, skills required to complete the activity in the workflow and align the right individual to each of the activity. So, these are all the seven benefits of the workflow management to optimize the task. So, thank you for uh, listening. So, the main purpose of providing the video lecture is you have to listen repeatedly, understand the content and you have to write on your own. That is what the objective. So, in the second unit, we have three different uh, uh, videos. So, all the videos are important. You may expect a part B question in the, uh, from the three videos. So, thank you. We will meet again in another video lecture.